हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ भूमिका नायक स्टडीइंग इन क्लास 10 वीपीएस इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल रामदेव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट एंड एक्सप्लेन द वर्किंग मॉडल ऑफ एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ ट्रिग्नोमेट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू द मटेरियल्स एंड प्रोसीजर्स टू प्रिपेयर दिस मॉडल वी हैव टू टेक अ थर्मोकोल शीट draw a building like this on the paper and stick it on this thermocol sheet and also a tree uh, this is optional and later you can we can write this uh, title as we want and also here like this we have to make cut it into a strips two strips like this to make a pathway next comes next comes the important part of this model we have to take a protractor either uh, in a printed way or uh, we can take a real protractor and making a hole in the middle taking a uh, drawing a girl and taking this like this and uh, inserting an iron nail in the middle of this one with a uh, an elastic thread like this and on the other end of the thread we have to insert another iron nail we have to insert this iron nail in at the top of the building and another iron nail in this pathway as if she is standing on the ground similarly like this we have to stick car for another protractor and insert this iron nail at the corner of the building like this our model will be prepared now let's understand the concept by knowing some of the terms of trigonometry as we can see here this girl she is looking at the top of the building so uh, we can draw a line that connects the weaver and the object the weaver is observing like this so this line is known as line of sight in this case also this line is known as line of sight next comes the height here we need not take the height of the weaver but we have to take height of the object here height of the building from uh, from the ground to the apex of the building and next is distance distance it is the distance between the weaver and the object he is observing here the distance means from here to here this is the distance and next comes horizontal line here this girl is looking at the top but we have to take a line that is a straight to her eyes in other words we can say that to zero degree see this zero degree line this is known as a horizontal line next she is looking at the top of the building that means that this uh, we can call this as an angle this is the angle between line of sight and horizontal line and this angle or a line of sight is above the horizontal line that's why we call it as angle of elevation so now let us consider uh, consider that in the top of the building another girl is standing and she is looking at this girl at the time her horizontal line will be here at a zero degree and line of sight is below the horizontal that's why we call this angle as angle of depression after understanding many terms of the trigonometry now let's move to the applications or importance of trigonometry in our day to day life now let us consider an example this girl is standing here and there is a river flowing between she and her house this is her house she knows the height of her house and uh, she also knows the angle of elevation this is angle of elevation but she doesn't know the distance between her house and she or we can say the width of the river flowing between them so now here as we can see there is a right angle triangle formed here and let us name them let us name it as a and this one b 
and this one as C. We know that there are six trigonometrical ratios and they are sine, cos, tan, cosec, sec, cot. So in those trigonometrical ratios here, let us take tan into consideration. Tan of any angle is defined as opposite side by adjacent side. Here tangent or tan of angle B equal to AC divided by CB. She already knows tan B and also she knows AC. By this if two values among three values are known then we can easily find out the third one that is CB. That means distance between uh, her house and she or the width of the river. See we can change this angle of elevation. Before it was 45 degree we can take this to 30 degree like this similarly with any of the angle of elevation we can find out the distance between and also similarly now let us consider another situation where she already knows the distance or width of the river and also uh, angle of elevation but she doesn't know the height of her house means from this point to this point she doesn't know the height in this situation also the same formula or trick applies that is tan but in this case we already know adjacent side but we don't know opposite side and we can also find that one similarly in the case of this car also we understood that how to find height when the distance and angle of elevation is already known. Now, uh, I would like to tell you another thing. Here we have taken this height that is AC and she is standing here. So, let us move this. So, now it is 45 degrees. And it comes to... 30 degree here as you can see now it has come to 30 degree now angle of elevation is 30 degree but you can also see that the height of this building doesn't change it will remain as it is then how is it possible because observe another thing here when the angle of elevation is decreased the distance is increased before when she was here the distance was this much from here to here and when she goes back then the angle of elevation is decreased but the distance is increased by this again we get the same height because height cannot be changed we'll also consider this car here the people in, sitting in the car are looking at the corner of this building now it's a uh, 60 degree as you can see now i'm coming to 45 degree so here also we can see a right angle triangle and I, as i told in the case of this girl we can similarly do this with respect to this car also for better understanding i'll explain a very simple example by taking some of the numericals now this is a 45 degree we know that tan of 45 degree is 1 and let us consider the height of the building that is AC equal to 10 meters and we know that tan of uh, uh, any angle equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. Now uh, tan 45 degree equal to 10 meters adjacent side that is BC here so we'll get as adjacent side equal to opposite side divided by tan 45 degree that is 10 divided by 1 by which we get 10 meters so uh, BC that is adjacent side or the base 
or the width of the river is 10 meters. Now let's take another angle. So now it's 30 degree. And we know that tan 30 degrees 1 root 3. And again, sorry, tan 30 degree is 1 by root 3. Now again this BC equal to, this is again 10 meters, 10 divided by 1 by root 3. That's 10 root 3. Like this, easily we, uh, we found out these two sides of the right angle triangle. When two sides of the right angle triangle are available, then we can easily find out the third side with the help of Pythagoras theorem. So for this also it is helpful. So totally uh, by applying trigonometry, we can find out the height of the building without climbing it and width of the river without crossing it. So finally, by using this technique, we can find out the solutions for many problems that are given in 10th NCRT trigonometry chapter. I hope this is useful for you all. Thank you.